Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, in this weekly horoscope rather, tomato, tomato, I suppose, uh, let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do, Taurus, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments. As well, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe. I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step to support my tarot channel in the way of giving this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out help me out a lot and always i'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that stuff to do that uh but remember taurus i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate taurus and leave what doesn't because i believe my weekly horoscopes my tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week but never making the decision in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so all that being said taurus let's get into your weekly horoscope today so i had a card come out to you that i want to just talk about real quick taurus you had the nine of fire coming out for you or the nine of wands this card is asking for you to not to give up protect that which you've created and to believe in yourself right so this is i feel like kind of like a separate part of like the reading entirely i feel like this card just came forward for a specific few people if it did, what if you feel like this card is meant for you let me know uh but this is a card for very specific tauruses who are at this place of i mean quite literally it's just like in the place of like giving up or where you're in this situation of um you know maybe you're asking yourself the questions towards of being like is this really for me is this what i really want in my life you know uh maybe you guys are starting to have some doubt your faith is wavering in some way and so i feel like that nine of wands card comes in as a reminder to us that you guys are all on your path right when it comes to traveling spiritual path just or just in just in your life in general honey uh, and that path is always going to be bound to have some obstacles, some things for you to um, walk over, to maneuver through, to even learn from. And so with all that in mind, you know, Taurus, just keep, stay with the course. Don't take the inconveniences that you're experiencing right now as a sign to move, right? As a sign to like transition from what it is you're doing, right? You're absolutely on the right path right now. So don't, uh, don't doubt yourself now. So, uh, now Taurus, ooh, ooh, honey, we almost, <laughs> you guys can't see it, uh, Taurus, but I almost just, somehow these cards just got twisted up in such a way where, like, half of them are about to be upside down, darling. So, uh, now, I don't know how they even managed, I managed to do that. What is going on? There we go. <laughs> I'm a wreck, Taurus. So, now, let's see where it is. How are you guys feeling right now, Taurus? What's going on for you guys? I want to figure out see what's going on for you <clears throat> all right so we have the cards that came out the five of fire the eight of fire as well as the king of air so taurus you guys are definitely in this place of um definitely with the five of wands this is another card of obstacles right this card always speaks very specifically towards just conflicts in your life uh, conflicts of interest, things that would just generally slow you down because it's taking away your energy. Maybe Taurus this week you're finding yourself that communication is a little bit rough, right? And so there's easier to have misunderstandings. Keep in mind, remember as well, Taurus, that it is uh, Mercury retrograde uh, currently. So very much so make it a point to uh, communicate properly um, and communicate with a vision and just as detailed as possible right because uh, i do see that coming in for you taurus of where uh with this eight of wands and this king of air this is almost just like speaking your truth in something taurus uh there's something that you are really wanting to have uh, brought to light or almost just even acknowledged for some of you guys i have like a hair i think on my lip and it keeps bothering me um yeah, I do feel as if there's something that you want to talk about, uh, Taurus, something that you want to, at the very least, be acknowledged, right? So you feel heard on some level. And so I do feel like you guys need to uh, start speaking your truth. Maybe it's even correlated with that uh, nine of fire as well, Taurus. So I kind of want to get a little bit more detail on this. What is it? What is this even themed? Oh, right. 
Well, actually, never mind. I just heard it's none of my business. So <laughs> take the message as you will with this, Taurus. But now let's get into a little bit of just this week for you. What is this journey going to be looking like for you this week, Taurus? What is going to be the biggest hurdle for you? Two of water and the page of water. So definitely, um, hmm. It's really speaking on heavily, Taurus, in terms of your relationships to whatever your cups are. Now, cups represents people as well as opportunities. And so for you guys, Taurus, I, it's interesting how this is all coming together because you have all these fire, this fire energy, this passionate energy, all this ambition um, attached to this. But it's almost just like, yeah, it feels like some of your guys' flames are starting to flicker, starting to wane a little bit, Taurus. And so... The biggest hurdle this week is to allow some type of situation that's intimate to you, right? Because this two of water, this two of cups is something that you feel pretty close to. There's a, a pretty heavy emotional attachment to whatever the situation is for you, Taurus. The biggest challenge for you this week is with this page of water, right? This card talks about either... Mm, I'm not even going to really highlight the new person coming into your life. Perhaps it's relevant for some of you guys, but I feel like the me main message for this Taurus is to um, allow the situation. I do really feel like the, the events happening this week for you, Taurus, there's going to be, <laughs> is definitely going to make or break you, make or break uh, the relationships that you have with people or just the relationships that you have with a certain situation, right? Just solely on your end. And yeah, it's just interesting. Now I want to get a little bit more detail on this Taurus. All right, what is going on here for you guys? <clears throat> so we have the, wow, the King of Cups uh, in the upright, as well as the Temperance card and the Ace of Swords. Now, these cards were actually inverted for you, Taurus, but as you guys know, I don't like to just show them upside down. I want you guys to actually see the artwork, right? So in this sense here, there's with the temperance card this, this always talks about patience of course right of uh, kind of like writing it out so you can kind of read in between the lines for us on some level of where it's just like all right with whatever it is that you have on that is on your mind right with this ace of swords really just an emphasis like all these cards are just kind of giving a repetitive message and uh in that spirit's really wanting you to just hold out on something towards just hold out on it um if this is in regards to people right again i just want to talk about the mercury retrograde because i do feel as if like how this situation is going to be coming for you this week Taurus, it will very much so make or break how like the rest of your life will play out i know that sounds really dramatic but it's almost just like whatever that you is actively in your life currently um there's just like i get this sense of strong feeling of uh, wanting to detach from a situation or uh, almost wanting to give up in something. And um, with these two combinations here, this is really just asking for you to stay the course, Taurus. When, because of these cards being inverted for you, I do sense that there is a little bit of impatience with this, right? Um, because it's with your, like, almost impatience. And again, with the Ace of Swords, this usually talks about in the upright uh, creative ideas and just like really going forward with those thoughts and what have you that you're experiencing and feeling. Um, with this, it's almost like you're doubting yourself with something. And heavy doubt energy with this Taurus. And that really does bum me out for you guys, because it's just such a I mean, for spirit to really hone in on this message of just really quite literally begging you um, to stay the course with something to us. Like, I really wish I knew what was going on in y'all's individual lives that's like impacting you in such a heavy way, it feels. Now, with this King of Cups here, this King of Cups is talking about your emotions. This is probably, especially because if you notice with the uh, Temperance card, you have the Cups here as well, balancing of emotions, because the liquid and the Cups always regard in terms of emotions and just uh, all all that that's involved, right? Oh my God, I don't know why I just struggled speaking there. So with the situation, the King of Cups, maybe there's just uh, almost like a sense of urgency or impatience for you towards because you're being so negatively impacted emotionally on something. It does feel as if like whatever, like the experiences that you are having this week are just 
very much so heavy, like taxing for you um, in regards to how you feel about yourself, perhaps, right? So I want to get a little bit more clarification uh, for you, Taurus, on this King of Cups. See what's going on. Wow. So we have for you the Four of Wands in the reverse, right? We have the Two of Cups following you, as well as the Hanged Man. So definitely, when you have this Two of Cups following you, this is really just, I mean, highlighting, this just really focusing on, uh, I even want to say that this is involving just straight up like a person for all my Tauruses this week, as if like there's just someone in your life right now that it's like, you are seeing in a different way with this hanged man, right? It's, I don't know if they did recently an action, Taurus, that just changes the way that you see them or how you view them. Um, but it's almost like now with this four of wands that was in the reverse for you, Taurus, it's like something that you invested a lot of your energy, a lot of your emotion into somehow in a way like disappointed you. And now because of this disappointment, you can't see them in the right way. And now you almost feel as if with this four of wands in the reverse, that it's just not meant for you. Right. With the 11, or the 11, with the four of wands, it's like the 11, 11 card where it's like you really see this future with you, with a situation. And it's just a um, kind of viewing your life as like a progressive trying to get to this point, you know, working up to this point of getting to that, you know, just having everything working out. This could be like a situation of um, uh, working at that job and being like, all right, putting all my eggs in this basket. This is going to be what really works out for me. Right. And then maybe something that happened in the work environment that made you realize and be like, ah, I don't know if I like, I don't know if this is for me anymore. Right. Maybe it's like you ended up dealing with like a uh, someone in like your work life, a coworker, perhaps because of this two of cups, like a boss, um, really kind of just adding like a sour taste in your mouth with something. And so, yeah, it does feel like very much so like a fight or flight situation for you, Taurus. And so hmm, come to me out with that. So let's get a little bit of uh, intel on like how this is going to pan out for you. Taurus, like if you were to let's just say uh practice a little bit of patience for this and wait it out a little bit longer what happens then right so we have coming in the uh knight of cups the four of cups right four of cups yeah four of cups uh and then we have the queen of pentacles so interestingly enough taurus in this dynamic if you were to just wait this out a little bit more um this knight of cups comes forward to you in the sense of something being offered, right? Now, I just want to highlight, just as make it as like a side note from like a tarot reader. I'm going to still focus in on terms of like speaking of like an opportunity to us, just because I like to stray away from speaking in terms of people's social dynamics and relationships in such a heavy way or uh, invested way. Because general readings, it's impossible to speak on people every like individuals' perspectives in a general reading. But with this type of opportunity, uh, a Knight of Cups is coming in as like an offering, as like a opportunity being presented to you. So this would definitely be if you choose to write this out, right? Uh, some type of blessing coming in where it really uh, queen of pentacles comes in where it really uh, what's the word for it makes you self-sufficient or not necessarily self-sufficient in this way I mean perhaps but uh, it just provides for you what it is that you've been needing in your life currently right uh, because with the queen of pentacles this is all about just being at peace and good relationship with the self no doubt um, being taken care of right you know you don't your bills are paid like um chores are done like everything just is in order for you Taurus if you were to just ride this wave out right even if you personally can't see or conceptualize how some how things like would pan into be in such a way that it's good for you right i do feel as if it's not kind of your job to currently <laughs> i know this is kind of like a silly thing for me to say especially since this is y'all's lives we're talking about here at taurus but with this four of cups here it's almost as if like a like one of those things of like a missed opportunity if you were to uh were to like move on right i feel like you would like end up regretting this decision of detaching yourself from a situation without really looking things through a little bit more right because with this four of uh, cups here this is letting me know that there's something that you're missing right something that you're not quite seeing 
that I feel like would really change your perspective on the situation itself, right? So you just kind of have to change your vision here, right? So very interesting with that. Uh, I want to say, uh, Taurus, for you guys, let's see what advice we can get for you for this week. <clears throat> All right, we have this Knight of Swords coming out. All right, let's see. So some advice from Spirit this week for you guys, Taurus, is we have the Devil card, the Nine of Wands, as well as the Knight of Swords, right? So in this situation here, it kind of just highlights, right? While you're on your journey, right? This Nine of Wands following you, honey, right? Because this is what, uh, let me get this card for you. This is what the Nine of Fire represents, right? So the best advice, quite literally, as the card said before, is asking for you to not give up, Taurus. Stay the course. Um, getting out of your... Really, I want to uh, ask you guys towards the question of what this devil is, right? Now, I, I know maybe for some of you guys, as your first reflex will just be like, well, the devil is this this person over here, right? But, and I'm not dis dismissing that, right? Because it's just like, what do I know right now <laughs> in your situation? I don't know Jack, right? But with this Knight of Swords here, especially since we're not getting any cards that are talking about you know, you're not getting like the death card for detachment. You're not getting like a three of swords and a six of swords, right? To move on. You're not getting cards to move on or like a hermit card to uh, seclude yourself. This is more so a highlight on like uh, bearing your teeth a little bit, right? With this knight of swords, it's the fastest moving knight, but it's also the knight that's easily able to get in their head while they're in their journey, their personal journey as the nine of wands, right? So the biggest advice I would have for you is identify what this devil is for you, right? And I don't really, honestly, I don't see any action necessarily that you need to take directly towards this devil, but more so figuring out how you can work around this devil, how you can have it so it's no longer infesting uh, your mind that puts a bunch of self-doubt or whatever that has you just feeling heavy and just not feeling emotionally fulfilled that I'm getting for you, Taurus. So that is the advice I have for you. It bums me out that you guys are dealing with this heavy situation. I do hope this general portion of the reading um, at the very least just gives you some faith. Have some faith right now, Taurus. I'll probably even message uh, title this video of where it's just like, please don't give up or something because I really do feel like that's just like the main objective that spirit has for you this week is like don't give up allow this situation to um really mold you into something uh greater than this don't allow this to succumb or take over you and to really block your path out because this is the path you're writing out currently is the one for you so all that said now taurus let's get into uh i'm gonna do some quick spreads for my taurus's love in social situations because y'all have more than social uh, real, uh romantic situations in your life right um as well as my taurus's financial career see what's in the works this week for you guys right so if you're interested in that we're going to be starting with taurus y'all's uh love and social situations this week let's see what's going on here <clears throat> We have the Ten of Air. Oh, I mean, I feel like we could kind of uh, guess this, right, Taurus? The Ten of Air or the Ten of Swords. This card says the end of a difficult situation, embracing the change and expecting things to get better now, right? So things are going to, in terms of your social relationships, Taurus, things are definitely going to be working itself out um, for you, right? It is kind of like the same message of staying the course, but let's get some clarifying cards with this. What does this even mean, right? You're, get, you're getting some closure right things are finally starting to look up or figure themselves out but let's see what deep extra detail we can have all right so let's get these to make sure that they're right so now we have the three of pentacles for this the page of pentacles as well as the five of uh, wands in the reverse for you notice how can we appreciate how these cards are just following you and just completing like a storyline for you for you when you overcome it so yeah i definitely do see like think you know five of wands i say it's like that conflict right you look at it and these people are beating each other with sticks um i do see there being like notice as i was saying before communication page of pentacles talks about communication three of pentacles as well funnily enough it really goes into that message of the knight of cups as well presenting something to you keep having something presented um um, definitely look at this week's tours in terms of like collaborations keep your mind open i do feel as if once you guys get over like misunderstandings with something or a specific situation 
then uh, through communication, of course, right? Then I feel as if you would uh, be able to like, it would almost be like night and day. Like uh, you leave, you work the first like one night, uh, really feeling bitter, right? Or what have you because of the coworker. And then uh, through like having some conversations or what have you, then like you uh, go into work and you start loving it like the next week, right? I do feel as if it's like through simple communication, something can really be remedied. So Take that as you will, Taurus. Now, let's get into what's going on for y'all's, uh, uh, what I was about to say, social again. Let's get into y'all's uh, uh, finances as well as your career this week. What's going on financially for my Tauruses? All right, so you guys have two different Archangels stepping forward for y'all. We have the Justice card, Archangel Ragul, as well as the High Priestess card, Archangel Haniel. So things are definitely going to be coming. You guys already, Taurus, have a really good idea for something. Um, like I do feel like you guys are pretty sure of yourself in terms of uh, the decisions and the actions that you need to take to... Uh, get you to where it is that you want to be in terms of your career or finances, right? So... Especially for like for my Tauruses that are resonating with this and maybe dealing with like an annoying coworker or boss, uh, stay the course, right? Because the Justice card comes in of where it's like things are coming into the balance in terms of you know through that communication that's what brings things into balance. But I have to acknowledge for my own bias, I like to think of things in, from an extremely optimistic way. Uh, this could easily be a situation of where it's just like that one person that's been pissing you off, that's been taxing you, that's been responsible for that King of Cups for you, that's been emotionally taxed it's going to work itself out for you, right? Stay the course. I would say, uh, Taurus, in terms of your work life right now, uh, with the High Priestess, normally I'm not one to talk about keeping yourself a little bit more closed off because I am the epitome of being vulnerable and letting it all hang out. Uh, but in this situation this week, keep yourself private. Don't talk about what it is that you're doing and feeling. Uh, I don't want to say doing, or feeling rather, but don't talk about your ideas to other people. Let them come to you. Let them come to, like, don't talk about your plans to others is all I'm going to say. And like, let things ride themselves out because I do feel with this justice card, things are going to be revealing themselves. And so the best thing you can kind of do is just like play it back, um, be a little bit more mysterious at this time. And I do feel like things will work out pretty organically, pretty beautifully for you. So Taurus, that is the weekly horoscope reading that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this reading today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Comment down below which cards resonated and how they did. And then also Taurus, I do weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not honey, uh, send them one of their videos, one of their zodiac readings. And maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, Taurus, I love you so much.